What is your current relationship with the district attorney? Uh, just as outlined uh, earlier, we are great friends. We, we speak regularly. Um, you know, the conversation has changed, though, you know, whereas before we're, our conversations were about this case. Um, you could, I'm sure you could imagine and appreciate the amount of time that it takes that, you know, you have to pour into uh, a case uh, trying to, uh, a case of this magnitude trying to prosecute those defendants. But um, our conversations have shifted to um, how are you, how are you handling uh, the, the threats that are coming your way, are you being safe? Um, and, you know, democracy, w w the case will live on kind of thing. Just to clarify, when did the re romantic relationship between the two of you start? Yeah, so, y y you know, we get into, uh, there's been this effort to, 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 to say that Okay, these these exact dates are 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 at issue, and these exact dates are. I'm getting I'm getting signaled here. Uh, no. Yeah, take it. Want to go off mic for a second? Yes. Okay. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Don't stop. Everything okay? Yeah. Just to revisit the question, it was to clarify when the romantic relationship started and when it ended. Sure. So, you know, I believe that the, the public has, um, through, uh, through the testimony and other uh, interviews, the public has a, a, a clear snapshot that this is clearly just a distraction. Um, it is not a, a relevant issue in this case. And I think that we should be focusing on uh, more of the facts and the indictment in the case. Well, I ask because obviously this is, it's still a pending matter. It's going to be before the Court of Appeals. And you talked about how proud you were of all the work that, that you did in this office. And I think the question that people have when they hear from the Court of Appeals, this isn't happening until next spring, is did the relationship jeopardize that work that you did in this investigation? And, and therein lies the issue, um, why we wouldn't touch upon the, the work of the Court of Appeals or some higher court, because it's a pending issue before them. I think that we should allow them to take a, a step back and allow them to take the evidence that they have um, and, and do their work, make the decision. Right. But you did testify to this, and you were asked about, on the stand, about when it started and when it ended, it just wasn't completely clear because before it said, before the indictment, which was August 15th here in Atlanta, and then later the answer was at the end of, of that year. And so I think that was the, the clarity that people were seeking of, of when it started and when it ended. Sure, and uh, there again, there's a, there's a question before the court. Um, and that is the crux of the question. I, I don't choose to say or do anything that would jeopardize um, the case or the court's ruling. I prefer to allow them to make their decision based upon what they have um, and, and, and accept it. Do you believe, as you reflect on this, that your relationship with the district attorney was a mistake? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. What I believe is this whole conversation is a distraction. That's all. It's a, it's a tool to, to stop the train, to slow down the inevitable, which is um, the trial of the defendants named in the election interference case. Do you believe the trial ultimately happens? Absolutely. Absolutely it happens. Mr. Wade. What? Whoa, 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 what? Did you see? What I just saw, I'm gonna play for you now the timeline that he said that happened and that Fanny Peck, Lou 
Goose on that Grey Goose. Gorilla Grip. Willis said the timeline was. When did the relationship start and did Willis benefit financially by hiring Nathan Wade to run the Trump investigation? As in many court disputes, the answers depend on who you believe. District Attorney Fani, F-A-N-I, last name is Willis. I don't know the day that we started seeing each other, but it was early 22. When did your romantic relationship with Miss Willis begin? 2022. That would have been after Fonnie Willis brought Nathan Wade into the Trump criminal probe, paying him around $700,000 to date. But in a strange friend and former DA staffer, Robin Yerdy testified, the two actually began dating three years earlier. That's also what former Wade law partner Terrence Bradley texted one of the defense attorneys. But when Bradley was questioned under oath, his story changed, insisting his texts were speculation. I do not have knowledge of it starting um, or when it started. Um, Terrence, you told me that it started when they were both municipal court judges, though, correct? That is incorrect. Defense attorneys filed a motion asking the judge to consider cell phone tracking records from 2021, which they say show Wade spending time at Willis's hateful condo after hours. Willis's team argue the data is unreliable and want McAfee to ignore it. A man is not a plan. A man is a companion. I don't need anybody to foot my bills. The only man who's ever foot my bills completely is my daddy. Willis denied under oath profiting from her decision to hire Wade, insisting the two of them roughly shared expenses when they vacationed in California and the Caribbean. But they each testified she always paid him in cash, an explanation that left defense attorneys befuddled. You don't have a single solitary deposit slip to corroborate or support any of your allegations that you were paid by Mrs. Willis in cash, do you? No, sir. Not a single solitary one. Not a one. The money that you paid Mr. Wade, the cash, in October of 2022, you do not know where that money came from. I do know where it came from. It came from my sweat and tears. The inference that... It was not as it, it's been characterized to the court, and that it in fact it started earlier. The inference that the inference that the inference that the inference that that they were concealing this because it was not as it, it's been characterized to the court, and that it in fact it started earlier than what they say. All right, overall, let's sit down. I just want to make sure that we're clear. From at least 2020, me and Mr. Wade were friends, at least that time period. Okay, I'm not talking okay, about... So no, 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 I just, I want to be clear because my credibility is being evaluated here, right? We were friends. We hung out prior to November of 2021. In November of 2021, I hired him. I do not consider our relationship to have become romantic until early of 2022 because i don't know a date and time i'm saying sometime between february and april of 2022 and very early april of 2022 because i know that trip that i discussed with you was like the first week of 2022 that the relationship had become romantic i hope that answered your question but i can't have it where you know we're saying something differently all right so you've established the timeline as you put it the question originally was uh, at the time at that time, did you tell any other prosecutors? Uh, other prosecutors? I never tell people at work who I'm dating. All right. So now suddenly he was a, they were both able to give this definitive answer, but now Nathan Wade can't answer this and you saw what happened. And now they just talk on, in a previous interview, he said that they just, they talk every day. Joy Reid interviewed him on BSNBC that they talk every day, they're best friends, and they just, you know, our conversation has changed. Really? They were just spotted in Florida together, um, which seemed to be very funny. They keep being spotted together still, even though the relationship's supposed to be over, while he's still married and refuses to pay his ex-wife, and pay the tuition for their child, and also her medical bills that he said that he would, because he is still gallivanting around the world, it seems, with Fanny Pack Willis. And it's just so strange that now he can't say anything.
about the timeline, but if it's the truth and you testified to it previously, why would they stop you now? What new evidence, what else has needs to has come out? What things are, are, are they, they're trying to cover up that they know if he was to continue with that story, it would hurt the case. Guys, I'm going to keep digging into this, but I wanted to bring it to you because as we've seen, and it, it, that this is a completely corrupt office. Fulton County needs to be torn down to the studs. We're, we, we haven't even, if you guys haven't seen my previous videos, I've broken down how funds have been embezzled. Lies have been told to committees and hearings and, 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 and I mean, they even grant money misuse, threatening whistleblowers against Fannie Willis. Like guys, it is unreal. The level of corruption that we have unearthed and we are just getting started. The fact that Fulton County actually voted her, the, the, uh, the Democratic Party voted her back in to actually run for the uh, November 2024 election to become DA again. If, if Fulton County votes this woman back in, you get everything that you deserve. This entire office, the entire criminal justice system, the entire court system there in Fulton County is corrupt from top to bottom. We've seen it with the judges. Now we're seeing it with the DAs. We're seeing, I mean, levels of crimes that I, I, that I frankly have never seen before. I'm sure this is happening around the country and all different types of, you know, court systems. But the fact that they are so incompetent to expose themselves in this way is unreal. And the Nathan way, you guys have to see the comments of what people have to say. Like, why is this man talking a complete narcissist? Why well, suddenly he can't remember this. And this is CNN, you know, they want to believe Fannie Willis. They want to believe Nathan Wade and even they cannot believe what happened in this interview. So guys, leave a comment, make sure you are subscribed and hit the notification bell. You're not going to miss any of my updates and I will see you on the next one. Bye.